Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Tony Angelos. I'm a real estate broker here in Chicago. And for those of you who are not new here, I'm changing things up a little bit. I'm trying to find a new style format, something a little bit fun and conversational. And I'm trying this out. So like many of you, I live in Chicago and I'm always looking for fun things to do that aren't gonna break my bank. So today I've compiled a list. I'm gonna go over eight things that I think are fun and worthwhile to do and four things that I think you can honestly pass on. And by the way, drop a comment of some of the fun things that you like to do in Chicago that are free too or low cost. So anyways, let's get right into it. Our first stop is without a doubt the Chicago lakefront. Like many of us in COVID, I was locked up and feeling antisocial. And for me, the lakefront was one of those rare reprieves that allowed me to get out of the house and like so many people, I picked up running. Like, how weird is that? Next is the iconic Millennium Park. Get your picture with the bean. Everyone's got to do it. But I'm going to give you a pro tip. Go in the morning where the crowd isn't as busy. You can maybe catch a sunrise if you're an early bird too. And it's going to be so much more worth it. Once the crowd comes, it's pure chaos. Selfie city. Selfie sticks everywhere. Number three is the Lincoln Park Zoo. It's one of the last free zoos in the country. And even though the zoo itself is beautiful, some of the surrounding things by the zoo, like the Caldwell Lily Garden, the Lincoln Park Conservatory, these are all free things too, and really, really awesome, and a little bit underrated. Check those out, they're in walking distance of the zoo. Number four is the Chicago Riverwalk. The Riverwalk is just below Wacker Drive. Um, it spans the entire length of Wacker Drive. You can walk the whole thing pretty much. There's cafes and restaurants and bars and wineries down there. You can wave hi to the people on the boats. It's really easy going. And if you're going through the weekday, you're probably gonna be having lunch with people who are on their, on their lunch break from work too. Okay, number five is our museums. Most of our museums have free days for Illinois or Chicago residents. Totally take advantage of those. The museum campus has the Shedd Aquarium, the Field Museum, and the Alder Planetarium. Those are all great, but you gotta check out the Art Institute and the Museum of Science and Industry too in Hyde Park. Number six is the Chicago Cultural Center. It's across the street from the Bean. It's right on Michigan Avenue and it's free. You could go in there. They got concerts and events and a bunch of, a bunch of free things you could check out throughout the year, but it's really known for its Tiffany, its Tiffany dome when you go inside. It has two really beautiful stained glass domes, both really cool. It's also just a nice thing to break up the day. Really appreciate some of Chicago's great architecture. Number seven is Grant Park. Grant Park is next to Millennium Park. The whole complex is enormous and it spans, you know, it has the backdrop of Chicago, which is sprawling and magnificent and beautiful. Grant Park, you can go to the Buckingham Fountain. You can go through the gardens. You can just take pictures if you really wanted to, but you could spend all day there. They have free concerts, concerts in the park, movies in the park. Those are tons of things you could do, very popular too, but it's so big that you're almost never gonna be crowded with people like you would at Millennium Park. And number eight, if you're ready to get out of the downtown area, go a little bit west. Check out the Garfield Park Conservatory. It's technically free, though they do ask for a donation, but there's so much to do there. Now, let me be honest with you. These next four recommendations, you can skip out on. People are probably gonna tell you to check them out. They're probably on a lot of lists, but just, it's not worth your time. I've, I've been here all my life. I've done them all because I have a lot of family from out of town. And when my family comes, we tend to do touristy things. So I've done a lot of touristy things. And let me tell you, these are things you don't need. Number one is Navy Pier. Navy Pier is like, it falls so short of what I think it could be, but just it just falls so short. There's not really much to do there that's fun or exciting. Yeah, it's free, you can like walk around it, but other than that, it's kind of pointless. If you wanted to see the fireworks, there's better places to see fireworks. They do have a massive rooftop bar called Offshore that's kind of cool, but it's a bitch to get to, honestly. Next, I would say neighborhood festivals. I think neighborhood festivals are pretty much all the same. It's cool. If you go to like one that's in your neighborhood, cool, check it out but I would not go out of my way to go to any neighborhood festival. They all pretty much have the same format. Overpriced food, way too many drunk people, the same bands, <laughs> seems like the same bands every, every single place, and super crowded. I have to say, you know, go to one a year if you really want to, but you could honestly skip out on it, and there's better festivals and concerts and things to go to that are worth your time. The third overhyped thing that I would say is Oak Street Beach. If you are a kid watching this or a teenager and you're looking for where kids go to get messed up, 
let me tell you, it, it's Oak Street Beach and North Avenue Beach. Those are your places. For the adults watching this video, avoid those beaches if that's not what you want. You, there's, we have so many beaches in Chicago. Go to any other than those two and you will be better off. I used to live right by Montrose Beach. I'm a huge fan of it. It's massive too. So you can always find a space to just kind of carve out for yourself. And lastly, number four of things you can skip out on. This is technically not a free thing, but it is, it, it needs to be said. Giordano's Pizza. You can do better than that factory made garbage in this city. Go to Lou Malnati's, go to Pequod's, though that's technically not a deep dish. There are so many places you could go get better food than Giordano's. For our Chicago residents that are watching this video, let me know. Giordano's, Lou Malnati's, put it down in the comments. Let's go face to face with these two. So that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have fun, get out there this summer or fall whenever you are watching this. Get out there, go take advantage of these free things that we can do in Chicago and let's normalize having fun again. Let's normalize having fun for free and not spending hundreds of dollars on bar tabs and stuff like that. There's too much to do here. So go have fun, thanks for watching. Get out, close your computer and see you next time. Take care.